Yo, what's up everyone? So we are in Long Beach, California. We just got to the track. I just had to take a rapid COVID test real quick uh, so I could get in real quick. They're requiring all the hard card holders to have a uh, some sort of uh, identification that you don't have COVID, either a vaccine or a uh, test within 72 hours. So right now we're uh, sitting here waiting. Uh, I think I got like a couple more minutes and I should know if I don't have COVID or not, which is the first time I've taken one. Uh, then we go in, we park. Uh, yesterday, we got here a couple days ago. Um, yesterday, we went and hung out with Simon Olsen's uh, team and everyone, and we went to the beach and stuff, tried surfing and stuff. We had a really good time. Uh, today, we'll just set up, try and uh, put some, I got some new fenders from Crown Carbon Crafting, try and get them mounted, put some new wrap on from AZ Rags, make the car look a little bit better for this round, and uh, we'll go from there, try to get, get the car ready. Got a couple things to do from it. We uh, ran LS Fest last weekend. Uh, got third place there, so we just got a couple things to go over real quick and make sure we're ready for practice tomorrow. All right, well, I'm in, so I guess I ain't got COVID. Uh, tested negative, which I guess is a good thing. My team right now is getting tested, so hopefully all of them are good. They just got off the plane. Uh, Cameron went and picked them up real quick. Anyways, got new fenders. Uh, we're putting the new one on right now. Fitting it good. Having to drill some new holes. Got to bend the headlight mount a little bit. Um, thanks to Simon, he let me go ahead and use his tent and everything because we still We still got to put uh, my tent and everything up and for the guys that haven't seen this car This Supra is nice race supply in Norway built it It's got the street honor kit The interior I mean the entire car is just beautiful uh, We're gonna be building a new car soon. So I think what we're gonna try and do is Try and do something like this. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. I know it takes a lot of time making a chassis this nice, but it'd be so cool to be able to do something like that for my car. Um, sometimes I don't really go too much into the details because I know the chassis can just be written off in no time, and you know. But I think uh, I think it's worth it. I think all the little details and everything and building a car is definitely worth it. So uh, if I can make something close to like what Simon has, I'd be really happy. So we're about to attempt to wrap this fender. I'm not sure how good this is gonna go, but we're cleaning the fender up, making the surface a little bit smoother, and then we're gonna try and pause some vinyl that we got from AZ Rag. We kind of, we kind of tried to trim it out a little bit now, so we could kind of line up the lines a little bit better, so everything will look good. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, it goes good. Well, we did it. A little bit of help from Race Supply, Matthias. Oh wait, you don't like? No, I don't like. <laughs> oh, he helped us uh, wrap the fender. Um, we did the best we could. It's definitely not perfect. Um, it somewhat lines up and everything, uh, but it turned out pretty good. He threw on a couple logos for us. Uh, we also got the crown carving uh, spoiler that they have. Um, I didn't even realize they had it until we were at their shop and we picked that up. So we have that on now, which I think is a very nice addition to the car. Uh, we're gonna go get some dinner right now with uh, Tim from uh, Garrett and uh, get some barbecue. He's grilling for us, so can't thank him enough for uh, biting us out. And then we're gonna come back, put a steering rack in, which Jeff Jones picked up for us. And uh, hopefully it fixes. We had a, a little fender bender um, at LS Fest and just wanna make sure the steering is 100% with this track being walls and there's uh, no uh, there's no room for air here. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Eat, come back, throw this thing back together. Today is practice day and qualifying. It's Friday. We're out here. Weather's great. Man, it's been actually the weather's been terrific. Uh, pretty kind of warm during the day, but in the afternoons it's been chilly. And man, it's been awesome. Definitely better than Kentucky. We ain't got that humidity. But well, anyways, last night late we came to the track, finished up the car, we changed the steering rack out, uh, and we're glad we did. Definitely uh, this piece came out on the steering rack, which was giving a lot of slop in the steering and uh glad we glad we went ahead and pulled it and found it and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so there's a fitting right here and it actually broke off the aluminum and then you can see the steering shaft and everything in there so and i think that like applies pressure to the shaft or whatever and it makes it where there's no play but uh you could just shake the steering shaft back and forth or the steering rack in there back and forth um so we got the new rack in last night we started up made sure everything's good to go and uh I'm good. I'm glad. I can't wait to drive it now. 
um, Cazellas Fest, I was definitely dealing with some steering bond. And the last thing you want here at Long Beach is to have some steering bond. So anyways, the crew is over here. It's early, it's like 8 a.m. already. We're here as soon as we could. We got a driver's meeting at 9 a.m. And I think we go hot on track at 9.30. So I'm ready to get my first lap here on the streets. And uh, we're gonna fill up some fuel jugs real quick with some Ignite. Uh, we got all of our Nexon tires already mounted, ready to go. So yeah, we ain't got much, we ready to rip. Yo, so we just got done with the driver's meeting. We sitting in the car. This stuff is pretty gnarly. We're in the streets of Long Beach. We're just chilling in a parking lot, lined up, about to get on track, about to make our first lap. Uh, I can't wait. I'm really uh, excited to make this. It's, uh, been a, it's like one of those things that everyone wants to do whenever you be, become a drifter, you know, or like while you're drifting and you achieve the top, everybody wants to drive Long Beach. So yeah, can't wait to make this lap. second lap LZ was chasing me and it was only our second lap on the track in the first lap we were already struggling with gearing and stuff so I tried to run it in a different gear and uh, it did really well at the beginning but going to outside zone two which is in the big turn I got really close to the wall and got in the marbles and I let up a little bit and when I did the car kind of lagged a little bit because I wasn't uh, really expecting it with the taller gear so we kind of need to work with the gearing change it up a little bit and also, um, I, I, might, I would really like to run third, go to second, but we'll see how it goes. I may try another lap in fourth because it did work. I've just got to be really careful and not get too close to the wall. And uh, I feel really bad because LZ hit me pretty hard and uh, it just bent one of our bolts uh, for the camber, but they're uh, loosening it up right now. Gonna bend it back over to fix that. And also got one of our wheels. Uh, but. Hopefully his car's not too bad. He's not back in the pit. I was gonna tell him I'm sorry, uh, cause it was was 100% my fault. It was uh, definitely a spot we're supposed to be on throttle, and uh, I wasn't because I was going really, I, I was going to the wall. Um, but anyways, we'll make these few adjustments, get back out, and hopefully get a couple more cleaner runs. Matt, what are we doing? Autograph session. What's up, Simon? How's practice? Uh, what practice? We haven't run. We have run one run. Back. How but, was it though? Uh, it's fun. The streets of Long Beach is super cool. So we got to go at it and uh, try our best for sure. So we're at the autograph signing. Uh, we uh, just got done with practice, first practice. Um, only got like three laps, anyways. But uh, ran with the Nofa in the last lap and uh, didn't run a good lap. Kind of fell off. We've been changing the gearing and. Uh, wheel speed every single lap and so just trying to find something that I'm happy and comfortable with so trying to make those right changes uh, going into the second practice because they'll be our last practice before qualifying um, but anyways we got an autograph session with all these sick fans uh, this this is always crazy there's usually a line uh, for over for more than we can even do for in an hour so uh, shout out to all the fans of all right so we're about to go out for our final practice for today before qualifying uh, I'm struggling right now with the gear, uh, wheel speed and everything, but we just made a gear change. Uh, the boys are putting it up right now. I think we're gonna be 
uh, perfect now with the gear that we just put. Thanks to Simon Olson and uh, Race Supply for helping us out. We got the gears that we needed and uh, we're gonna go try it out. All right, so I think we're done with practice right now. Um, the track is a little sketchy to be driving. Um, every, like every single lap, something's different. Super slick in some areas and I just went out for another uh, lap in the lead and uh, hit the wall pretty hard. Uh, luckily saved it, continued the lap, destroyed another Koenig wheel, uh, another tail light, a little bit on the quarter panel. Um, looks like the suspension's gonna be okay though. Um, still feeling good, it just, man, the track is just super slick at some spots and I uh, had a little bit of understeer going into turn one um, and it just didn't set me up for the rest of this track. Uh, as soon as you initiate, you wanna make sure you hit zone one, uh, your touch and go uh, sets you up for the rest of this track and man, I was just way off and. I knew I was kind of going to the wall a little bit, but uh, we salvaged it and fixed it. Uh, I think we're good to go, but uh, up next should be qualifying though. All right, so we just got done with qualifying. Dash racing. <laughs> so we just got done with qualifying. Uh, laid down a decent lap, got an 86, put us mid pack. We're like 14, 15th, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, haven't seen a bracket either on who I'm gonna go against, but we got a driver's meeting first thing in the morning. so. Uh, I've hit the wall, like I said, mentioned earlier, um, going into qualifying, the lap was right after that. So uh, I kind of had some nerves a little bit on not trying to get too close to the wall, but we threw it in, almost kissed it a little bit, uh, finished out and had a solid lap. Um, so we need to mount the tail lights now because both sides of the tail lights, the tail lights now have been, uh, the mounts are completely gone. The one from LZ this morning and then the other one from tapping the wall right before qualifying. So we got a couple things like cosmetic stuff to really do, go through. We did have to do another alignment on it in the rear after the wall hit, um, but overall not too bad. We've uh, checked the catch cans, make sure everything's good, check the oil, fill her up, and we should be good for practice tomorrow. But uh, you can see she's a little beat up. We're missing, we gotta readjust our tail light, or our mounts, but they keep ripping it out of the plastic. So we're not really too sure what we're going to do to mount the tail but we know we have to have them for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so we'll see see how things go tomorrow in competition for top 32. Alright, it's competition day. The car's all ready to go. We're set up. We're about to go out and make a couple runs. Uh, get a feel for before we go out for top 32. Um, hopefully everything goes smooth. We're going to put the tail lights in um, after uh, practice just in case. Uh, so we don't keep banging them up and, and losing them. The mounts are getting really, uh, really thin and brittle. So anyways, we'll go out, make a couple laps, see how everything goes. And yeah. All right, guys. We uh, got done with first uh, practice for today, or our only practice before competition. Uh, we made a couple uh, follow laps. Um, we actually ended up getting to go against Sorensen, which is who we're battling in top three, too. Um, just the way things lined up, it just ended up putting me and him together. But uh, he kind of overcooked it a little bit, was getting near the wall, and kind of spun He spun out in front of me, but uh, at least I avoided contact. Anyways, hopped back in line, got another lot, uh, lap with Jeff Jones. Uh, it was a decent lap. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. We also got the tail lights mounted now for competition. Um, hopefully they stay in. And uh, man, it'd be huge if we can win this next, or win our first battle and go to the top 16 because for the rookie of the year points, man, uh, it's tight. And me putting Brandon out would. Uh, definitely bumped me up a little bit so anyways our buddy uh, Simon over here he uh, just went hard in the wall right before uh, competition uh, finally put a couple bumps and bruises on this beautiful Supra unfortunately though I mean no one wants to scratch up a new car and I feel for him but anyways we helped him uh, get, get it back together they've helped us a ton um, basically they're they got the radiator rear end and all that but it's back together and uh, they're about to go out for their battle, so we wish them luck as they are also in the Rookie of the Year battle. See, there's a bunch of water. A bunch of water in the car from where the radiator busted, but everything's good now. Look, crew's on point. They're cleaning their car. The radiator's held in. We used some JB Weld. It seems to be holding ceiling, so hopefully everything's good to go. All right, what's up, guys? So we're down here uh, on grid. You can check it out. Sorrentin's there. Everybody's up in the stand, up in the 
on their condos and stuff out on the porch and stuff. Uh, we're getting ready. Everything seems to be done. The team's got the car ready and everything. Brandon's up here. So we'll see how it goes. So we just won our top 16 battle. We uh, sent it though. We went a little deep. Or what? Oh, top. What did I say? 16? Oh. Well, we just won our top 32 battle, my bad. Yeah, we got to know in 16. We're just preparing a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, uh, on my lead lap, man, I sit, it was deep. And uh, touched the first touch and go on the wall a little bit, just a little nick. Got filled outside zone one, and when I was going outside zone two, I already knew I was way too deep. And I just kept it pinned, and somehow, man, we, we pulled out of it. Uh, Brandon spun there. He was on in the inside line, I think. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm not really sure. But unfortunately, we already broke our crown carbon wing. Destroyed both tail lights again. Broke all the mounts in the back. The battery's cracked a little bit, but uh, the suspension, I don't even think I got the wheel or nothing. So uh, I think uh, we're good there. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked that we got that win. It was huge for us. And man, I hope we can uh, do something with Denofa. Uh, his stuff's fast. He's you know a fantastic driver, but uh, man, hopefully we got something for him, and maybe we can uh, you know run it about three feet shallower than what we just did. But uh, you can see, I mean, smoked this bar, got the battery casing a little bit, um, tail lights both gone, trunks tweaked, the wings gone. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's I don't I don't really know what we're gonna we're gonna try and clean it up a little bit for top 16 ceremonies, but. Uh, We'll see, we'll go from there. Thanks guys. What up? So, we're about to go out for top 16 ceremony. We're at the start line. The fans that got the Ben experience, FD experience package, they're walking the track right now. They get to check out all of our cars while we're on the on grid for ceremony and stuff. Anyways, we're about to roll out. Everybody's up there cheering us on in, the, in their, uh, from their condos and stuff. But yeah, this is sick. Uh, especially to be doing this at empty Long Beach, you know, this track is so iconic, but yeah, can't wait. 16 ceremonies over. We're out. Woo! All right, so that's a wrap for FD Long Beach. Uh, thankfully, I've actually remembered to video through the whole entire event. Um, this is so far our best finish um, I, We have a toxic top 16 before but we didn't really earn it um, We got it one more time with Castro back at Seattle and his engine blew up So we didn't really get to honestly earn that win. But anyways, we did earn our win this time and uh, Man, it was a great feeling and we had a heck of a chase against Denofa in top 16 and unfortunately in my lead lap i kind of hit the touch and go a little too much upset the car a little bit but i was able to get back online um but <laughs> my throttle pedal stuck to the floor and i literally couldn't do nothing about it it literally was just sitting wide open throttle all the way um going into zone uh two or zone outside zone one to outside zone two and i looped it and uh thankfully chelsea was there and you know, it didn't hit me. Um, obviously, he's a fantastic driver, so he probably knows exactly what to do. But anyways, um, yeah, so there's a little tab in our floor from where the factory drive-by wire pedal was mounted before. And I never removed it because it's never been an issue. But now, when we got an S13 throttle pedal in there, and it barely caught at the bottom. And uh, man, it, it was pretty crazy because I went to lift just a little bit because I knew I was going to go kind of deep. And uh, there was no lifting involved. So. Uh, it was crazy and then after i looped it the car was still sitting on the limiter i hit the switch turned it off um but overall sick run a uh, sick battle uh it was just cool to be able to finally showcase a little bit of what we can actually um do out here so uh now it's left to out to long beat or uh, no irwindale i mean for the last round with this chassis mainly uh the rear and everything is beat up and uh both sides now um as you can see so we got a little work to do mounting some tail lights bumper and stuff back for Irwindale but overall crazy weekend so